You may have had swelling in your legs and in your arms, but what if they're starting to get hard and stiff as well? Is your skin thickening? Or have you had swelling for a long time? Because if you have, you may be at risk for this happening. As a certified lymphedema therapist and physical therapist, I see this routinely, and there is a name for it. It's called fibrosis. What exactly is fibrosis and how do you avoid getting it if you have swelling or lymphedema? Well, we're gonna talk about it in this video, so let's follow along. First off, what is fibrosis? Fibrosis is a thickening, hardening, or tissue scarring that's caused by an inflammatory process from the swelling or fluid that's building up over time. It's really common for those who have lymphedema or chronic swelling to have fibrosis, which has the potential to fluctuate, progress, or even worsen over time if it's not addressed. Fibrosis is like the body's way of trying to fix itself when there's been damage or inflammation in the area. It's when a lot of tough, fibrous tissues start to grow in that area that's been swollen or inflamed for a long period of time. So in the case of lymphedema, this happens because the lymphatic system isn't able to clear away fluid out of that part of the body as it should. So this leads to swelling and the body responds by sending cells to try to fix this problem. These cells that are overloaded to this area start to make too much tough tissue leading to this fibrosis. So that's why someone may feel thickening, hardening that progresses over time. Another way to think about fibrosis is it's kind of like trying to fix a hole in the wall. If you put too much plaster in there, it ends up being too hard and stiff. Lymphedema is caused by a dysfunction in the lymphatic system, causing poor lymph flow through the area and leading to congestion and swelling. Adding fibrosis into this picture can lead to even worse buildup and worsening in lymphedema because it can further block lymph pathways and further damage the system. So here are some of the problems it can cause. First, less flexibility. Fibrosis makes the swollen area feel hard and stiff like we've talked about, like it's not bending and moving as it should. This can make it harder to do everyday tasks like reaching for things, bending your knees, or even walking if it hits around the ankles. Another is high risk for infections. Because fibrosis creates a hard, lumpy area, it can be a breeding ground for bacteria. This raises chances of getting infections like cellulitis, which you may need antibiotics to clear up, and it can also worsen lymphedema. Another is swelling that won't go away easily. Fibrosis makes it harder for the body to get rid of that extra fluid causing that swelling. So even with the treatments that we talk about with lymphedema like compression socks, or lymphatic drainage, the swelling might stick around longer than usual, making it tougher to manage lymphedema. Dealing with lymphedema is already challenging, but when adding fibrosis in, it adds an extra layer of difficulty. So understanding how fibrosis works and why it's a problem is key to finding the best ways to treat it. So by learning more about fibrosis and its connection to lymphedema, we can begin to find the best ways to treat it. So if you're looking for treatment, be sure to watch my video sharing the ways to soften and get rid of fibrosis with lymphedema and swelling. I hope you all found this video helpful and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.